Hello everybody, this is another Hot Wheels Collector video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new 2024 Mopar 5 pack. This is a really nice 5 pack full of fantastic models. They all look superb and I can't wait to show these to you because currently I am the first person on YouTube to be showing these cars off in detail and I can't wait to show you them because they are really, really nice. But without further ado, I will quickly mention where I managed to find this five pack. So I found this five pack in a local Smith's Toy Superstore at the price of £7.99. That is a really low and fair price for this five pack, especially since it is brand new and barely anybody has this five pack so far. I've only seen one person who also has it. So yeah, I am really early on the bandwagon here. And as I've said, I can't wait to give you this preview. But without further ado, let's get straight into this video then. So I want to start off this video by quickly showing you all five of the cars featuring in this five pack. This is just a quick look at them. I will go through those in a bit more detail in just a little bit. And then for the box art on the bottom, we have the Mopar branding, as you would expect, since this is the Mopar five pack. And then we've also got this lovely blue and white color scheme going on here as well. Looks really, really nice. On to the next side, we have the continuation of the blue and white color scheme, as well as that Mopar branding. Looks really, really good. I'm sure the people who keep these in the box will be very impressed with this box art. Looks really nice so far. This is just the same information as usual, nothing too special there. However, we do have this lovely image of the Dodge Daytona there. Looks really nice there. I love that thing. Definitely one of my favorites out of this pack for sure. And then we've got the names of all the cars featuring in this five pack just below that as well in white. The final side here is the continuation of that blue and white there. And then we've got the lovely image of that Daytona returning. Looks really aggressive and awesome there. And yeah, that's really it for the box art. But now let's get into the exciting part, taking a look at all of the five cars featuring in this five pack. So the first car in this five pack is the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. And my goodness is this thing beautiful, but the main thing which I love about this thing is this lovely dark red metallic color, which is absolutely stunning. I really, really love that. I would like to mention that this car is rolling on these steely wheels, which have been done in black with a white lip to them. Next up, taking a look at the tamper work on this thing. It matches very nicely with the wheel choice here being done in black and white. The tamper work has also been done in a mixture of black and white. So first of all, we've got the Daytona writing in white with a nice black background to it. We've also got the Hot Wheels logo here in white. We've also got the racing number one in white, silver and black. We've also got the Dodge writing in white as well as the Goodyear sponsor in white and black. And finally, we've got this nice racing stripe featuring on the fender of this thing in black. I would also like to mention that this car's side exit exhaust has been created by the chrome colored base plastic of this car. Looks really, really good. Next up, taking a look at the front of this thing then. Technically, there's no tampo work here as this thing does receive a top tampo print press and not a front one, but we do have the front chin or front splitter of this car being created by the chrome colored base plastic as well. And since you can see these two racing stripes from the front in black, we may as well take a look at the top. So you can see these two stripes which do continue all the way to the rear window of this car. You can also see the 426CI being printed on there in white. Now then, this stands for the engine size of this car. And finally, you can see that this car's racing number one returns to the top. However, this time it has only been done in white and black and does not consist of any silver. This side is the exact same as the previous, so I'm not going to bore you there. And the rear is pretty much completely created by that chrome colored base plastic, which you see there. Loads of details there, looks very realistic to the real life car. You can see this huge spoiler which has been created through the metal casting there. And this is one of the most iconic things that this car does have. It's very well known and it's what made this car so famous, I think. Oh, I would like to mention that this car does not have any wing mirrors, unfortunately. 
or any windshield wipers, that is a real shame. And I would like to mention that this car's interior plastic is black. And here's the top view once again. But there you go, that's really it for this car. What a stunner. Definitely one of the best in this mix. I really, really love this thing. The second car in this five pack is the 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT8. And this is another really solid one. I really do like the look of this thing. I think it looks very, very nice. This car has been painted in a slightly metallic white color, which looks really good. I would like to mention that this car is rolling on the five spoke wheels, which have been painted in chrome blue. Those look very nice on this car and do match up very nicely with the Mopar side livery on this thing, which has been tampered on here in a mixture of, you guessed it, blue, but also black and silver, looking really fresh and nice there. You can also see the Ian logo being tampered on here in black, and finally, the Hot Wheels logo in blue, to match with the theme of this car's livery and also wheels. And I would like to mention that this car's side skirt has been created by the black base plastic as well, whilst we are here. Now then, moving on to the front of this car then. There is no tamper work here, but the casting is very nice. So you can see this car's main front grille, as well as lower vents, do feature in the metal casting here, and are here in the form of a shut off a hole in the metal casting. And this does lead through to the black base plastic, which makes these front vents look a lot more 3D and realistic. That looks really good. Great job from the Hot Wheels team. I would also like to mention that this car's front splitter has been created by the black base plastic as well. Let's take a look at the next side of this car then. It is the exact same as the previous side. There is the few filler cap here in the metal casting, but yeah, the exact same other than that. Here is the rear of this car. It's not meant to have any tamper work, but this one does. Mine just has this little error. It's a little splash of tamper work. It's not a scratch or a crack in the paint. It's just a little mark, which yeah, it's just gonna be on this car. It shouldn't be on yours. But yeah, as you can see, there are plenty of details in the metal casting here, making it accurate to the real life car. I would like to mention that this car's dual X exhausts do feature in the base plastic of this car which is black as I've already mentioned. Taking a look at the top of this car then, there is no tamper work meant to be here either, but yep, that uh, tamper splash continues onto the top of this thing. And yeah, there is the hood, there's the top or the roof. And you can also see this thing does have a sunroof created through the see-through window plastic of this car, making it a little bit more realistic. Great attention to detail there. I would like to mention that this car's interior plastic is either black or dark grey. I'm leaning more towards dark grey on that. And I would like to mention that this car does not have any windshield wipers or any wing mirrors, unfortunately. But there you go. That's it for this car. Looks really, really good as well. Really, really good five pack so far. The third car in this five pack is the 1978 Dodge Lil Red Express truck, quite a long name on this thing. And this is another really solid one from this five pack. That's three, four, three for me at least. And this thing has been painted in metallic yellow, which again looks really nice on this car. I would like to mention that this car is rolling on the five slot retro style wheels, which have been painted in white. Those go very nicely with the white interior plastic of this car as well as some other white features like these exhaust pipes. Uh, we also do have some tempo work along the side of this thing. So we've got three stripes. We've got an orange one, we've got a light red one, and we've got a darker red one. So yeah, looks really good, cool styling there. We've also got the Hot Wheels logo in black, as well as the Dodge logo in black. And finally, the door handle and door lock tampered on there in black as well. Uh, yeah, I've already mentioned that these exhausts are created through the white interior plastic there. And yeah, that's really it for the side of this thing. Taking a look at the front, pretty much the entirety of the front of this car has been created by the chrome colored base plastic of this thing. So yeah, tons of details there, but I'm not gonna run through all of that. It would be a bit of a waste of your time because we're just gonna go through these quite quickly because I'm pretty sure that's what you're here for. Just to quickly look at all the cars coming in this upcoming 2024 Mopar 5 pack. 
This side is the exact same as the previous, so I'm not going to bore you there. You can see there is no temple work featuring on the rear of this thing. We've got plenty of details though in the metal casting, making this thing look a lot more realistic to the real life car. You can also see this car's rear bumper has been created by the chrome colored base plastic once again there. That's really it for the rear of this car. Onto the top of this thing, you can see half of this car's bed, or well, it's probably like, I don't know, one fifth of this car's bed has been created by the metal casting, whereas the other four fifths have been created by the white interior plastic there. I would like to mention that this car's window plastic is slightly tinted and it has been colored blue. So there you go, it's been tinted in blue. And there is the hood there. You can see this thing, it does have windshield wipers, although it does not have any wing mirrors, unfortunately. And there's the hood. You can see there are some details in the metal casting, once again, making it more accurate to the real life car. Another really nice one from this five pack. Here's the fourth car. This is the 1970 Dodge Challenger Hemi. And this thing is equally as nice as the previous cars. Now then, this thing has been painted in what appears to be a metallic gunmetal gray. Looks really good on this casting. This thing is also rolling on the five spoke muscle wheels, which have been done in black with a lovely chrome orange lip to them. They look really nice on this car and go very nicely with the rest of the color scheme of this thing. Talking about color scheme, we've got tamper work across the side of this thing, as with every other car in this five pack. So first of all, we've got this nice white stripe. We've also got a silver stripe. And finally, we've got this orange stripe. We do also have some details within these stripes. So the white stripe does have the Hemi detailing. The silver stripe has the Challenger detailing. And then the orange stripe has some nice white temple within it. And this does create the Hot Wheels logo as well as the Mopar logo. Looks really, really good. I would like to mention that this car's fuel filler cap does feature on this side of the car and not the other side. But there you go, that's really it for this side of the car. No plastic usage there. And there's no plastic usage at the front of this thing either. It's all metal casting there. So yeah, I'm not gonna go over all that. You can obviously pause the video here and have a look for yourself in a little bit more detail if you so wish. This is just a quick look at all of the cars, but yeah, this is accurate to the real life car. The next side is the exact same as the previous, so I'm not gonna bore you there. Here is the rear of this car. It's largely created through the metal casting once again and does look very accurate. The only thing which isn't is the quad exhaust tips which have been created by the black colored base plastic here. And that does make them look a lot cooler and makes them stand out a little bit more from the rest of the color of this thing because they are black compared to the gray. And then finally taking a look at the top of this thing then we've got a little bit more detail in the metal casting there. A bit of detail on the hood in the metal casting. We do have this hood scoop or hood vent being created by the orange interior plastic this car does have. That looks very good. Acts as a nice color split there. Yeah, I quite like that actually. Initially I wasn't sure if I would like that design but yeah, I am quite liking that contrast on the hood. This thing unfortunately does not have any wing mirrors or any windshield wipers unfortunately. That is a real shame but other than that, this thing is beautiful. Once again, a really, really good car from this five pack. And the final and fifth car from this five pack is the Dodge Viper GTSR. This one's another really solid one. It has been painted in this metallic blue color, which does look very nice on this casting indeed. This thing is also rolling on the Phil Realman wheels, which have been done in black with a chrome red lip to them. I'm personally not a big fan of these wheels on this car. I think it might be that chrome red lip that's kind of off-putting for me. I don't know why, I just don't really like these wheels on this car or casting in general. Next up, for the temple work then, we do have quite a lot of it across the side. As I mentioned, all the cars in this five pack do have side temple work. First of all, we've got the Hot Wheels logo in white. We've also got these two red stripes here, which do continue around to the rest of the side of this car. You can also see this car's exhaust pipe has been uh, tampered on there in silver. It does feature in the metal casting as well, 
but this just does highlight it a lot more, making it look a lot more realistic. You can also see the Viper GTSR writing there in white, as well as the Dodge writing. And finally, these two stripes, which do feature on the door of this car in white as well. I would like to mention that this car's side skirt has been created by the black base plastic here. And the entire base plastic of this thing does have this really weird texturing, which feels really weird to the finger. That is so irrelevant, I know. But I just wanted to uh, kind of <laughs> tell you that it feels weird. That is kind of weird speaking it now and thinking about that. But that's irrelevant. Let's move on to the front of this thing. So then, this thing's front splitter has been created by the black base plastic as well, which does have a funky texture. Uh, this car's front grille also does lead through to that black base plastic. It is a hole or shut off in the metal casting. It's not just like an indentation or anything. There's no tamper work on the front of this thing, so let's move straight on to the next side. This is practically the exact same as the previous. The only detail is we do have the fuel filler cap featuring in the metal casting here. Taking a look at the rear of this car then, most of the detail does feature in the metal casting here. So yeah, I'm not going to go over all that. The only thing which I would like to mention that isn't uh, in the metal casting is first of all, we've got this diffuser, which has been created by the black base plastic there. As you can see, that also feels funny. <laughs> we are uh, now talking about the touch sense. <laughs> uh, taking a look at this also, this kind of holds the car together. It also acts as kind of a license plate holder portion of this car, but yeah, it is just holding this thing together instead of a rivet like this at the front, which a lot of Hot Wheels cars nowadays have two rivets, one in the rear and one in the front, but this one has kind of like a clip here and a rivet at the front. And here's the top of this thing, no tamper work there. You can see there's tons of detail in the metal casting there though. This car's interior plastic is white. You can see that it's white from the base here. It does look cream through these windows, but that's because they have been tinted. And this car unfortunately does not have any windshield wipers or any wing mirrors, probably because it is an older casting, 2012. But yeah, it doesn't have those details, unfortunately. But yeah, that's really it for my showcase of this five pack. So now let's move on to my ranking from most to least favorite. My first place car is the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. My second favourite car is the 1970 Dodge Hemi Charger. My third place car is the Dodge Lil Red Express Truck. My fourth place car is the 2008 Dodge Challenger SRT8. And my fifth place car is the Dodge Viper GTSR. But there you go, that is it for the Mopar 2024 5 pack. It's been a great 5 pack, honestly you should definitely pick this up. You definitely will not be disappointed. It's full of fantastic castings and recolors here. They all look so so good in their own way. And honestly I'm not disappointed at all. Really pleased I managed to find this pack so early so I could bring you this showcase. It's been an absolute pleasure and I really do hope you enjoyed. But that does lead me onto my score out of 10 for this five pack. So what is going to be my score for this then? I'm going to be giving this five pack a score of 9.5 out of 10. It's really, really nice. And as I've said, pick this up for your collection. You will definitely love it as much as I do. But anyways, that is it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Remember, you can also press that notification bell so you do not as new uploads. Remember, you can also share this video with any friends, family, or any groups who may be interested. But remember, don't feel pressured to if you don't feel like you have anybody who may be interested. You watching this video all the way to the end means so much to me. And I really do thank you for making it all the way up until this point. But anyways, that is it for this video, so I hope you guys did enjoy, and I really, really, really hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.